we're talking about this. Yeah. Okay. Here, can you show them yeah. again? Yeah. Okay. Check it that. out. Cool retro, probably from the 60s. Whoopsies. Made in Japan because we have the very neat little legs for it, yeah. which we're not going to use, but they say made in Japan. Um, it came from originally the Heart Album Heart, yes. Men's Wear yes. Department in the department store. Yes, which actually I think was located kind of where the Big Dipper and kind of in that oh, range. So. That's right. That's where it was. Oh. Um, now we're getting text messages. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> anyway, she's not watching. Um, so Desmond's, uh, Nick Blake owned Desmond's. Um, Wait, I didn't know that Hard Allen was down there where Big Dipper was. Yeah, it was down in that location because Jason's used to be. Wait a minute. I like thought it where was the rugs... where the, um, the whatever it's called is by Sky well, Point. Well, yeah, that was the main store. But then the men's oh. store was in a different location. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Hmm. I mean, it's yeah. highly likely this was actually in the main location at some and then point they and got expanded. moved. But okay. Yeah. Um, so definitely they did have, I'm sure it was, I remember going in there and I'm pretty sure Nick helped, helped me. Like this was a long time ago. It's been around for a while. <laughs> 40 years of selling men's yeah, suits. Yeah. He that knows his Nick. business. Mm -hmm. So we're, we're going to, this town is going to miss that. Fun. So, so anyway, congrats to Nick. Um, he so he started Desmond's um, a menswear store and then he moved some he moved a lot of this original furniture that he kind of inherited I guess uh -huh. down to his location just a block away from us and then you know he's retiring so a lot of his fixtures were for sale and we um, we chose one and, and we love we, it we chose a few but I mean the a other things one. were little. This was a major thing. There, there is major. one that's quite. We had a bit some really nice larger. Billings memorabilia, some beautiful yeah. photos and stuff. We should have gotten down there sooner. Mm. <laughs> anyway, yeah, we're thrilled with it. So um, I'm sure you probably saw our post on Instagram. You never know what we were going to put in it. Although I'm sure you guessed yarn. A lot of you probably yeah. maybe heard us talking about it. Mm -hmm. So we have a new home for mohair. Yep, this is going to be mm -hmm. the, the. I think it's permanent spot, to be honest. I think so, too. So mohair is always, you know, we it's near and dear to our hearts. Um, but, but displaying it has always been sort of a challenge because, you know, it's fluffy and it's little and it likes to, like, fall all over the place. So frequently that right. little area where the mohair lived was a mess. Yeah, and I think this is going to keep mm -hmm. it super tidy. What's this? Oh. So anyway, this is good. Also, we think it's kind of a nice home for a few extra little bits and bobs that we have. Bits um, and bobs. Bits and like bobs. Cinderella. That, uh, that we... Bobbity -bobbity -bobbity. Yeah, so, yeah, look at this. These cool coasters fit right in here. I lo We love these. Our felt, wool felt. They absorb all the things, the noise and the moisture. Yep. And they're super easy to just pop into wool wash, clean up. You don't, they're, they're wonderful. One of these days we need to expand kind of the things. Cause you and I have gotten some things mm -hmm. from that same company, you know, for our mm -hmm. kitchens and home and stuff. Yeah. So that one wool is, is a great, yeah. you know, you know, wool is good stuff. <laughs> um, our, and our little, um, little notes, our little, little notes have a great home for some of them. Um, and we have some new ones too, but like, yeah, anyway, little notes are good. Books are magic. We know yes. that. But here's a new one. Oops, can I? Excuse me. This is super cute. And oh, I this like one's that one new. Too. And this one's new. So, and we have some new Valentine cards too. Look at that. Isn't it cute? Sweet. And look at the back. Pretty. They have a lot of very fun, like, sun, smiley face. And then... Mmm, ice cream cone. You know what? Someone Sprinkles. came in the other day and bought a bunch for his wife, who is an OB nurse mm. at the hospital, and she writes notes to all the new mommies. That is sweet. On these. And that is yeah. wonderful. Uh -huh. You don't have room to, you know, you don't have to, it's just perfect. Perfect. Teachers love them. Mm -hmm. They're nice to give to their students. I use so, them to write a little list. I mean, you can cram a lot on there if you need to. This is a new one, too. I think it's like, you know, pets, little household pets. Isn't it cute? 
Um, but look at the back. They're little uh -huh. butts. <laughs> <laughs> They're widow bums. They're widow butt cheeks. Little bums. It's adorable. Um, and tails. So, um, anywho. Yay. Love it. Well, let's get to, I don't know, not that we have a lot of business to take care of. Well, here's a PSA, though, because I, since I already said it, but you didn't hear it probably because our thing wasn't working. Um, Montana is going to be a hot spot for grasshoppers, like, in the country, like, the hot spot, according to the USDA or somebody. Okay, yeah, we're going to so, have to think twice about what we plant in our planter. grasshopper resistant plants for spring planting or gardening or whatever. I don't know. Heads up. Good coffee. Mm, Evan. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah, good, good. Um, my mom left uh some whipped cream at my house on sunday Ooh. and so i've been putting that in my coffee for oh, two days should have brought some <laughs> pretty nice oh um, here's what? another new thing from e francis we occasionally get their chubby notes and this is this is cute those are perfect for me <laughs> chubby notes are back just that one style okay here um, while, while we're looking at that stuff some other paper things yep okay hey, okay it was segue for you yes First, we'll talk about it's bad. What's to say, really? What What do you say? That's all you need to see. We sell these out. We People keep, are totally intrigued with this book. We keep reordering. They don't even know what's in it, and they walk to it. Here you go. <laughs> there he is. Yes, he designed these. Yes, he's a yes, knitter. Yes, he's a knitter. Um, yes, he has long hair. I think this is some of his family or something. It's models. hard to know, but he's like super popular in Norway. For more info, see his Instagram page. Whoa. <laughs> okay, so we've got some. We'll walk some of this on back. a Norwegian beach with that guy. <laughs> okay, so um, we know granny squares are a thing. Um, we're actually having Crochet a granny a square that class would be probably is booked out. Yeah. Uh, we have a granny square sweater class that still has some space. So anybody that's already maybe knows how to do granny squares or mm -hmm. you might, might want to do this, this good book could be helpful. And yours truly has started to, I don't want to say I've started to crochet because you can't really call me a crocheter. Like, I'm doing it, mm -hmm. but you can classify me as a crocheter. <laughs> Just pop onto TikTok. You'll get to be a crocheter. Um, look at the back. Not your usual grannies. That's cute. I know. I love that. Mm, I okay. like that pillow. Here's, um, here's what I'm making. I'm actually making a project, not just making squares because it's the vest yes for ooh, our ooh. february vest along bang out a bang vest. Out vest and so um i've got my crochet squares i've got lots of them let's see they're very pretty i'm pretty proud of myself honestly i mean they're all coming from noro and noro this right here and pretty much, I weighed this out. So what, it's 150 grams. Each one of my little squares weighs about four grams. So you do the math, mm, you can okay. get a lot of squares out of that. Mm -hmm. I've trimmed it out with some Scout. I love the green. I'm pretty sure I chose that color. Well, I agreed. I, I wanted you to do were going in a different well direction. I was going with like an ochre color which I still think would be really pretty yeah. but there's probably not as much of this color in it so it would pop a little bit better I think green I mean not in the Pantone world but green's uh -huh. having a moment we have so many people coming in getting green yarn for sweaters I mean really and truly Heather the other week um, on the Saturday she's like I just keep making green sweaters so Anyway, yeah, go so green. Go me. <laughs> go you. Because I'm doing this. And oh, I doing never crochet. thought okay. I would do this. I did a like a crochet granny square years and years and mm -hmm. years ago. Um, and I'm like, well, this really isn't that hard mm -hmm. to do. And it's little projects like this one that I just think, I'm like, that's pretty cute. Now, well, she's three squares wide. Huh. 
I'm not sure about that one <laughs> with me, so I'm not sure if I want to be four squares wide. <laughs> so, oh, but, um, you know, whether or not it is for me or not, but cute. I think it's going to be cute. So I think I cute. should get a lot of kudos for crocheting. Okay, good job. You, Thank you. and I everyone, like, isn't it everywhere? It's at Target. It's all over. I know. Remember I still... when we were in Chicago? Oh. I mean, that's kind of when we started. We started seeing so much of it. I, I was think two years ago. I've heard that it's like a TikTok thing. I don't, I'm not on TikTok. So, um, and you know, my kids aren't on TikTok either. So anyway, my 20 somethings, I think. But anywho. I, I mean, <clears throat> we do have a TikTok channel. Yeah, we tried it for a while. It's At so much to keep up with. Yeah, it's I so know. much. And honestly, all the screen time is just, yeah. Um, okay, so so vest along. I know some people are. I know a lot of people are thinking about their vest. Um, so keep thinking. This and is maybe you'll the Lulu be inspired by this one. And look at the sides. Isn't that cute? It's beautiful. This so, is Nancy's. Yes, and this is Acadia from mm -hmm. Fiber Company, which is a beautiful, gorgeous yarn with, of course, mohair in the color jelly. She did such I love. a beautiful job. On I that. know. I can't wait to get um, to this part right here because this this little button panel mm -hmm. here and on on the side they're a little thicker. They're sort of like a double knit thing. And um, that's nice. So I'm yeah, kind she of anxious she to try that out. Yeah. So she learned a lot in a small project. Right. What she was what we love about vests. Yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. and people say I don't really wear vests. Well, you know what? Everyone should wear I think a vest. vests are actually kind of slimming because you've got that, you know, if you do Let a V, <laughs> if you do a V, right, or if you have, I mean, it's like, I don't know, somehow the line, the, right. it's lines. It's, yeah, it's verticals. It's vertical it lines. It creates some verticals. I mean, so. I'm not a fashion person, but um, I am, okay, I took this and I couldn't, rem I didn't have a ruler. Look at you. You are on the ribbing. Well, and so wait a minute. I need to be about 3.25 inches. We've got our handy uh, tool, oh, which I, we do I am these. almost there. I'm at, I'm at three. I have to be to three and a half on mine um, if but, I'm going to let it go that far. So, And then okay. you're splitting now. Yeah. So anyway, this is ready for steaking. Uh, unfortunately, I am uh, traveling tomorrow. I'm going to the Midwest um, for a memorial service on the weekend, and I'm not going to take this because, well, yeah. all you have left to do is the ribbing. Yeah, I mean, if I was here, though, by probably Friday, this thing would be done, and that so would be two weeks. what are you going to take with you? Oh, okay. Um, I'm going to take a, some so like socks that's good travel and then i'm also going to oh. take these little babies look at that so cute so cute so cute so cute a little washcloth and um i'm going to take a variety of sport weight yarn to kind of keep in the same size range and maybe some lucky person in my life Are will you, receive a little color stack what of color washcloths. color color you going with pink or i don't know i'm looking in my stash because because uh. we all have that um, you could do like little thin little yarn and make little hearts with this pattern. This is Heidi well, Kiramar. I keep thinking about all the linen Kiramar. that we have. Uh, linen would be sweet, that. just little scrubby cloths. But um, this is a nice size for a face cloth um, or a kitchen sink. So um, I'm going to take some of these and they're pretty quick. Um, I was, it was fun. It's Heidi Kiramar's. It's a free pattern. Just look for Heidi Hart. Heidi, yeah, you'll <laughs> find it. So, um, but yeah, we have Valentine's. For some reason, I always get the urge to like do little. You kind of like you to do little do. You Valentine like Valentine's things. Day. It's a nice day because we've got little stuffed hearts. A lot of people that you can and um, we have all give those heart to. shapes, little Valentine mm -hmm. shapes. This morning, speaking of hearts, so I've been. I don't know if I told you, but I've taken Silas and Elise to school. A couple mornings now and um, I vow when they're at my house we really don't watch very much TV um, so crafty we were very crafty and cleany um, the craft part was lots of heart shapes um, with little you know cut out stamps and the the dining room table was just 
like full of you know all the scraps and lots and lots of hearts and <laughs> silas is like i'm gonna make hearts for every kid in my class so he started writing his name mm -hmm. and i taught him how to draw a heart mm -hmm. two humps and a point mm -hmm. and um he got it down anyway yeah so hearts. yeah i like this i actually really like this texture too i think it's um and it hasn't even did you already up. blocked it right i did block it i blocked it and gave it it's it, it came i mean i didn't really have to block it but i like I just like that process well usually so. it's softer too yeah fun awesome fun, fun. the okay. other thing they did was i gave them they cleaned every mirror and everything in within their mm -hmm. range you could make <laughs> windex some, you could and make paper them a little heart cloth i could cleaning. yes elise yeah. loves cleaning cleaning is a, that's a good skill <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm sorry about our little faux pas earlier, but come in and check out our new our new yes. display thing. Yes. It's very yeah. um, we're really happy with it. We love the way it fits in here. And we, we have were... lots of great mohair samples. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm mohair just gonna show this because I haven't got to show it off. Oh yeah, that's my mohair. I finished I finished it. Here, hold it up. Uh, isn't that gorgeous? Yeah, that's I pretty. think it's beautiful. Um it's actually really drapey, so it'll be pretty, you know, around my neck. Very nice. Yeah, that's nice. It was what I call a personal project, a pet project. I just did it because I wanted to without, you know, it's not like a sample that I was making for the shop necessarily, okay. even though it will be here. Um, but, it's nice to see mohair. Yeah, I mean, we love mohair to carry along with things, but it is also quite nice by itself. And honestly, this is not just a stockinette. Mm -hmm. It's actually got a pretty good texture to it. It's knits and pearls, knit, pearl, knit, pearl. And it looks kind of woven. It kind of mm -hmm. does have that appeal. And mm -hmm. um, I love the little tassels. Mm -hmm. It's cute. So it's this is called A Place of Peace mm -hmm. Shawl. By Hohi Lokitelli. Pretty pretty. And used the mohair and some circus tonic and some round mountain. Mm -hmm. And that was really my thing was well, just it was, to... It's sort of a stripedies thing too. Right. By the way, stripedies deadline is next week. Right. The end so, and of we're getting January. we're getting a few in, so it's really fun to see. Mm -hmm. So Yep, that's good. We've got some good ones, and um, you'll all get to see that in the voting process coming up early in February. Yep, yep. So we'll talk about it. Think about your vesties. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep. I'll yep. just keep saying yep, 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 yep. yep. Thank and you, thank you. And that is it, and over and okay, out. Okay, have we'll a great see Tuesday. next week.